Meanwhile, the state house race in the Wilkes-Barre Hanover Township area has been a hot one. Republican Sue Henry mounted a spirited challenge to six-term incumbent Eddie Day Pashinsky. Our Kelly Choate has been closely following this race all night. She joins us now live with an update. Kelly. in Wilkes-Barre where Eddie Day Pashinsky is holding his election night party and if you take a look behind me you can see the dozen of his supporters are hoping to celebrate a win here tonight. Let's take a look at some video. This state house seat in the 121st district represents about 62,000 people and includes much of the Wilkes-Barre area. Democrat Eddie Day Pashinsky is facing Republican challenger Sue Henry. This district was created back in 1969 and only three representatives have served here, all Democrats and all men, meaning Henry would be the first Republican and the first woman to win this seat. Henry says she knows she's going up against a six-term incumbent Democrat in a highly Democratic district. The D's outnumber the R's two to one. Both candidates told us they went into the neighborhoods and met face to face with the voters. Henry worked as a radio talk show host for 16 years. She believes her background will help her overcome the strong advantage that Democrats have in voter registration. Meanwhile, Pashinsky says he stands on his record of accomplishments over the past 12 years. One of the biggest issues in this race is property tax elimination. Pashinsky's other priority is health care and fighting to help people with pre-existing conditions. We'll have the latest on this race throughout the night and coming up on Eyewitness News at 11, a live interview with the winning candidate here. We're live in Wilkes-Barre tonight. Kelly Choate, Eyewitness News. All right, we'll see you later in the night. Kelly, thank you. For